Good morning, or yeah, it's still morning, not quite midday here. This Tuesday, the uh, 16th, here in Oz. So I um, put up a quick photo of my journal that I'm making, started making. Now the book that I'm using, it's a old um, Reader's Digest condensed book and how it looks at the moment. I haven't done the cover yet only because I'm going to have some of my own um, acrylic pouring artwork on the front, back and I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the side. But I was uh, watching um, I think it was Nana's place and she was um, doing an alternative book journal no altered book journal that's the word um, so that's what I thought I'll give a go so what I did is the haul that I got uh, last week I picked up a whole heap of these books for two dollars fifty. There was a, two packs of five, um, a pack of six, and a big, a bigger one. Um, they were two dollars fifty for the packs. Um, I think the big one only cost me a dollar, but that's going to be something a bit special. But I thought I'll try the altered. Uh, journal and where I've got these little clips uh, so I can show you what I've done so far so I took out some some of the uh, pages which I've kept uh, where have I put those I've got them somewhere because I kept them So, they're the pages that I've taken out in different sections. Now, these are going to become painty papers throughout 2018 for whenever um, 70 Acres Melissa has her paper pa pa painty paper. Um, swaps I'll, we'll have this size already made up so that's what I kept them for not big enough so they're they're the only sheets that I've taken out of the book and they've got that gold around the edge That you can really see it. Okay, so the first page is I've put in, made a, used the first couple of pages and then made a things, put things in. Now these were my first ever homemade tags. So I thought I'll stick them in my first ever journal I think these are cute I my tags oh hello Jits to like that side a bit better. These are just some of my homemade that side or that side 
opinion on what neck size. Already got the holes. So they're my first homemade DIY. Um, just from magazine cuttings. And then I flipped through the, the book. And through the book, with some pages that had something on it already, like this person. And then I just got some um, of me water ink and glitter and just put some on on that side blow dried that and on the next side I added some paper and that so that's what I've done so far this one's got a bit of gold and a man there or bronze, it might be bronzy. And, and I've just added some paper and stuff there. And I've added that to there. That's the picture that was already in the book. So, so far I've just added this. And there's, so you can see why I kept some of the pages in this. This has got some little bits of the glitter from the page here. I um, hopefully you can see the glitter. It's just the water, DIY water ink I made. One of the painty papers that I did cut down to put in. This one's got another little thing. Then go over there's nothing where those clips are there's nothing in between them then I put in this one little I inserted this so I've got some pockets there uh, pocket there and pocket there and on this side I don't think I've got, oh yeah I've got some little things in there what have I put in here these are things I'm going to add to it eventually. So these ones here I brought um, so when I find little spots put them in the thing. So they'll stay in that little pocket until I work out where I want them to go and there's some more little bits and pieces in that one and then some just some little cutouts that I've used paper that I've used in the first couple of sheets and I've just kept the little Thing so it can be used somewhere else in the journal. Put another little bit. And then I added another pocket. There's some more homemade. I made these up. Some more homemade tags. A couple of different shapes. I'll put them in there so I know <laughs> I won't lose them at the moment. And there's another pocket behind. And I just used um, a brochure, a thick brochure book. And then we'll come over to this side. And there's some gold mini paper. I did last night 
Then I've made another bigger pocket with some of my painting papers inside. got some metallic paints in them. And there's a few more in there. So I'll um, stick them back so I know where they are. So they'll be utilised in these books as I go and all of them have just fallen out of here. Okay, so where am I up to? And then there's the painting paper. Lots of glitter in that painting paper. The glitter. And then use the stencil I don't know if you can see the shine in that one and then that had um, bronze and red gold and red oh, and there's that painty paper that's got a bit of metallics in it this one I did in a water um, marbling type thing I was trying. So, very faint um, red, grey, but I see people in that. So, it's good for my intuitive work. Then we go over here and I've got this one. And I've only put the dividers on that side. I should have put it because I like the picture on that, that side. And it's got some other little cut out pieces that I can use throughout the journal. I don't know what sort of journal I'm making as yet. But some of the pages have got pictures in them already so I'm just going to work around those pictures. Um, here's another painty one. In this one I made a little envelope, flip envelope and I've got some more Painties. This one I've stamped on love. These ones I did in uh, water and um, water and nail polish. So these ones are me water and nail polish. Just things that I've been trying, never used before. So I thought I'll give them a try. And somewhere throughout this I can use or if I end up gifting it to somebody, they can use. Um, then there's another marbling, water marble page. I don't know how good you can see that. And it's pinks and blue and that. And then I've attached another little envelope and there's nothing in that envelope yet made that and oh, this page is still a bit wet oh, oh, oh dear it's a cute oh that's one i just finished so a little bit of glitter and it's got cherubs it's still a bit wet this page because i've I've had to uh, glue it back into place, so 
Let me glue it properly. So that one's still a bit. And it's got love stamp in each corner, a bit of glitter. And that's also one of the water marbling um, papers that I did. So I hope you enjoy. Enjoy that. I better leave that over. So that's. Yeah. I got inspired watching Melissa's um, YouTube. You know, junk journaling, and then um, some of his have been making tags and things, and I thought, surely I can do something like that. No, I'm trying this year to do things that I would normally look at, say, yeah, I would like to do that, and never did it. So this year, if I see something, I'm going to try. It might work, it might not work, but at least for me, come the end of the year, I can see what I've done creatively and what helped and made me feel really good about myself and push the limits, my limits a little bit to see how I can um, handle different things like my jewellery making that i done for years and years I can't do that as much anymore I just haven't got the strength in me my hands and the ones that I've been showing on my um, my own Facebook group page are uh, ones that I found that I could still do. Um, making Melissa's uh, present that took a lot, of, a lot out of me, a lot of bending and twining and my hand at the end of it ended up swelling so I thought no I can't can't do those anymore. I used to love doing them, so just the plain sort of beading um, things. Occasionally I'll try and see if I can, you know, just so I'm doing something. But um, yeah, I've got to realise my limitations. Um, painting papers using the jelly plate. I haven't got a jelly plate but one day I will and once I do then I'll be looking forward to um, doing some jelly pa plate papers, painting papers. But in the meantime I'm just making do with what what I've got. So um, I'll put that aside. Uh, and I picked up, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these, but I picked up a whole heap of this, um, little tidbits of fabric, some with lines, these ones here have got patterns on them, flower patterns on them, I don't know how good I oh, can get it up show you there you go so they've got flower patterns then there's some that are just like that different colors and then there's some with that pattern and there's just the plain <coughs> silky type pattern yeah and there's that pattern so I got these through the habitat. They were um, what do they call it? A sample? It came on a big thing like this. Big long thing. Like this. So these are the other ones. So I can utilize them, I thought, somewhere. This year through some art and crafting stuff. 
So it should be good. I'm looking forward to this year being a better year. So even though I do get tired a lot easier these days, but I still have trouble sleeping, so that's why. <laughs> I just come down to the craft room. This is my little sanctuary. It's a uh, three metre by five metre little studio I had my husband make me. And there's those ones. So they're just strips. Um, just some mod things. It was sort of like that in the whole row of them. So I can utilise those throughout me. Um, in little bits and pieces this year and I've got myself some little stencils as well that I'm going to uh, use okay thanks guys just thought I'll give you a little video it's gone 20 minutes. I don't know if any of you are going to watch it, but thanks.